She's been serving overseas for six months. And this morning, a military mom surprised her daughter at school. New Center 7's Natalie Jovanovich captured their reunion. It's been being able to see her. That, that was definitely, uh, definitely tough. For six months, Technical Sergeant Altasia Johnson served in Afghanistan, separated from her 13-year-old daughter, Aaliyah. It is very challenging. Uh, I'm a single mom, so just me and her. Sergeant Johnson spent a lot of her childhood here in the Miami Valley. Her parents still live here. She's third generation military. Sergeant Altasia Johnson was deployed once before, but this time she wanted to make the reunion with her daughter more special, so she decided to surprise her here at school during lunch. I saw her put her hand over her mouth. I knew that she was surprised and I just felt so happy. And what does she mean to you? Everything. With tears still shining in her eyes, the seventh grader says she didn't know what to expect when the principal called an assembly. I thought that someone was about to get in trouble or something. <laughs> but it led up to this moment, one she never expected. I was really happy and excited because she was supposed to come home until 8 May something, I think. Now Sergeant Johnson is on a 30-day leave from her base in Idaho. Her and Aaliyah will soon head back, and she'll continue to serve the stars and stripes just as she swore to do. Yeah, we do choose to serve our country, so, um, so we are making that sacrifice. Reporting in Huber Heights, Natalie Jovanovich, New Center 7. Excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why what? Why what? Lisa! Go ahead, take the, pass them, pass them down. Lisa! Noodles, look it. Game buggy. Did you know I was coming? Yes. Yeah, you knew. No, I didn't. <laughs> Back for your birthday. Oh, I miss you guys. You okay, baby? I miss you guys. She's happy. You no, know, they haven't surprised you guys. I flew all the way from Florida. Yep, I flew all the way from Florida. I miss you guys. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I love you, girls. I love you, noodles. You got him back? Yeah? You okay? Yeah? Okay. I missed you guys. <laughs> she was just like, I didn't know you worked at Ivan. <laughs> I saw the team bag.
Huh? You weren't sure whose was it was. No, I know it was a girl. How do you know I didn't get it? You took a straight arrow. Here you go. This guy's gonna talk to you. Just would you come and see, please? <laughs> I told the guy in the crazy, the crazy guy in the truck was following you home. There you go. Okay, that's a really good shot. That's really good. Sounds right. Um, this was awesome. Yep, yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait till dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, my flight got in around 10. Oh, you should have called. No, she shouldn't have. That was worth it. Yes. That totally was worth it. Oh. Okay, we need to find a way to get that in because the back is pretty full. Okay. And I'm going to pause to stop the video now. There are no limits. Oh my gosh, my heart. 
is pounding so hard. No limits to what parents will do for their children. My name is Kathy Chandler, and my husband is Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler. When war has split the family. My husband's been gone for nine months. Today he's coming home from Afghanistan. When children are fighting their own war of loneliness back home. The boys have been taking this pretty hard. Their boys, ages seven and three. The boys are not here at the airport with their mom and friends for their father's arrival. He's coming. Kathy and Daryl Chandler know that as much as they've missed each other, <laughs> their boys have missed him with the fathomless depth of the child's heart. So Kathy and Daryl did this for their boys. Kathy told seven-year-old Cole and three-year-old Aiden. That they could enter a contest, and the winner would get a visit from a Power Ranger, and this is the entry Cole wrote. He said, "I should have a superhero come to my class because I've been stressed out lately, and my dad is at war in Afghanistan. If the Red Ranger came to my class, that would make my day." And he won. <laughs> of course, there was only one entry in the contest, and Kathy. Was the judge? He knows where his stress is coming from. He knows that what he's doing as a military kid is a hard job. And the fact that he touches that、um, makes me, as a mom, just so much more compassionate for him and all the struggles that he's going through. And of course, Cole was surprised and excited when he found out that he won and the Power Rangers showed up. And of course, he would soon find out who the superhero was underneath the Power Rangers mask. <laughs> it's it's been hard. It's been hard on on especially the older one. Army Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler and Kathy Chandler know that someday the boys will understand that what their parents hope they are giving them is bigger than a surprise homecoming. That their sacrifice and service is giving them their future. You, you do it for your country, knowing that hopefully that what I'm doing today, it's something they won't have to go through. And to give them a better life for it, that's what I do it for. There are no limits to what parents will do for their children. In Stockbridge, John Sherrick, 11 Alive News. You do steer anywhere? No. Oh, she's killing me. Life is a lot about waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. The anticipation. Waiting for my wife Althea. The angst. Oh, come on, Taylor. And the joy. <laughs> When the moment arrives, <laughs> so、much. pretty much day by day. Lieutenant Jason Walter. I don't think I've ever been this nervous in my life. Of the Colorado Army National Guard. I'm shaking pretty good. <laughs> he's trained to be ready. I'm ready for this. He's been preparing for a while. Is from my informant who's on the same plane.、It、says just touched down. Today. We've been together almost four years. It's time, his time. We just hit it off right away. Their time. Their moment. It's like I'm dreaming. <laughs> I miss you so much. I love you. I love you too. You're my best friend, and I love、oh、you more、God. than、uh, love you more than anything in the、oh、world. Oh my God! <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Life is a lot about waiting. I love you, Jason, love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement. <laughs> I never thought it would happen. <laughs> the joy. I guess the most important thing is that I remembered to go to my knee. And the anticipation of what's next. <laughs> You're so awesome. I love you, babe. With photojournalist Chris Hansen, <laughs> Anastasia Bolton. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Nine News. We got a very special spirit day, guys. Listen carefully. Y'all all realize that those kids picked. There was something crazy going on. They're my kids. And they're Miss Better's kids. But then the other three, their dad. This is for them. Their dad has been fighting in Afghanistan. He came home last night, and they don't know it. They have not seen their dad in over a year, guys. This is a big deal. You cannot say anything. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to play minute to win it. My kids are going to lose. Miss Vetter's kids are going to lose. And the prize is going to be Dad. 
So you have got to be quiet, okay? Okay. So we got to act normal, okay? Can we act normal? Yeah. All right, let's give a big round of applause to our minute to win it contestants as they come back in. Can we get, let's clap for them.